Good morning. Yes, great to be with you on this Tuesday. And you are with George at Growth Point, growing as you are going through life. And we have been speaking about watchmen. God wants you to be a watchman. And today, a watchman knows what the enemy looks like. <laughs> yes, you identify your enemy. You know the enemy. You know what he looks like. You know what he smells like. You know what he sounds like. Come on. You know him. Why? Because of Holy Spirit who gives you discernment. This is why we need Holy Spirit in our life, to have the discernment of what is happening in and around the world today. Let me tell you, the enemy wants to deceive. Like the serpent of old who crept into the garden undetected, so he wants to come into your life. But you know what? I need to set a barrier of the truth of the word of God around my life by staying in God's word. You see, the day that Adam ate from the wrong tree, a tree of death, not life, he was distracted and failed to identify the serpent who had come into the garden as a deceiver and deceived them. Now, again, I need to just say this to you. Be careful of what you read, what you watch, what the people that you follow, the so-called prophets out there, the so-called apostles out there, the so-called evangelists out there. Make sure that they line up with the truth of the Word of God. Make sure that, that what they are preaching is word-based, not coming from some thought that they picked up during the day or the week or the month or the year and now they are preaching something that is totally contrary to the word of god no no bring them back to the word of god you see if your life is filled with the gift given to you by the father holy spirit through christ jesus you will know what the devil looks like sounds like smells like <laughs> not so acts uh, uh, sorry john chapter 40 verse 22 uh, 26 uh, says this, the advocate, the advocate, remember the one who speaks on your behalf, Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I've told you. This is what he is saying to his disciples, everything that I've told you. Now, everything that he told us is now written into this book that we have from Genesis to Revelation, right even into the maps. Come on, come on. It's the truth of the Word of God. We hold on to this as our truth. You see, Jesus taught the de that the devil is a deceiver. This is what he taught, a manipulator, a wolf in sheep's clothes, an imitator of a roaring lion, an antichrist, a liar, a cheat, and a thief. This is what the devil is. So what I need to do is be on my guard because again remember this and this is I, I can't impress this importance of not falling into deception you say but i'm a strong christian yeah well you know what adam was in the garden and spoke daily with god face to face and you know what the serpent got to him was able to deceive him don't don't think that the devil can't creep into your life. That is why daily we need to check our lives. That is why daily we need to watch our perimeters. Look around our perimeters. Is there any way of the enemy creeping through somewhere that I possibly have opened a door? You see, we open up the doors for the enemy to come in. A watchman who is filled with Holy Spirit power knows how to use the sword of the Word of God against such an enemy. My favorite scripture, you all know, James chapter 4, verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Where do I start? Coming to God, saying, God, this is my life. I submit it to you. Are there any brokenness around my fences that needs to be fixing? Have I allowed the enemy to come in to bring a distraction? Once you come to this, uh, surrendering and submitting yourself to God, James goes on to say, he says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. The devil has no power over your life. The only power that the devil has over your life is the power you give him. So come on, take away the power of the devil by staying in the truth of the word of God. <music>